Hello everyone, welcome back to Community Wealth. First, before I get started, I would like to let everyone know I would like you to sh like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Also subscribe to It's A Wait See. You can do so at the end of the video or you can go down in the description and subscribe to his channel. He's the one that makes the music for the channel. So as you can see here, this is where we're gonna start today. I have a bit of a sad news, but it's not sad. I can say kind of bad, but it's it can be handled. It's not nothing detrimental. It's just something that happens during the credit repair game. All right. As you can see here, this right here is TransUnion. All right. And what happened was this. I'll scroll down so you can see. This is what happened. Bam. Remember in my last video, I said that I got the uh, all of the collections removed from my account this here was just added all right this is actually uh remember i mentioned the collection account or the collection company that santander sold my account to that santander actually sent a a, a cease and desist letter to them so they won't do this but they did it anyway so now i have to tackle this and it's dropped my score tremendously actually it dropped my score about uh 20 something points so we're gonna go in here and we can see what changed I actually went up a point because i decreased my navy federal uh, my navy federal credit union balance as you can see so my points went up a little bit so you know look at that right here uh my balance decreased seven dollars with navy federal and I had the Navy Federal inquiry removed. So bam, that, that's what happened with that. All right, hold on, hold on, let me see, let me see. Okay, the Fed loan. Okay, I paid my student loan, so that took it up a point. So it was at 612, but you can see it dropped 21 points to 612, all right? It was actually at 633, it went down to 612, okay? And that's because of, as you can see, this collection account from NCB, all right? So I have to tackle this. This is this is just a minor hiccup. I can, I can get it taken care of, you know, but it happens. You know, this is what happens in the credit repair game. Sometimes everything goes according to plan. Sometimes it doesn't, you know, because when you're doing this, you still have they still have seven years, you know. So within that seven year frame, they can sell, uh, transfer, you know, whatever with different collection agencies. They're going to be buying because they're trying to recuperate their debt that they bought all right so what happens you know but that's why you try to get a cease and desist so they can not continue and i'll let you know about the letter in a second because i actually wrote a great letter that i think is going to handle everything all right so we'll get to that in a second all right but that's transunion all right i'm going to go here and we're going to hit equifax it's the same thing it hit Equifax and TransUnion. Now, it did not hit Experian. So just Equifax and TransUnion. See, I went up one point because of the same reason, you know, as you can see here, Navy Federal, Credit Union, balance decrease, Fair Loan, balance decrease. You know, it went up one point to 628. But over here, I actually dropped only eight points. All right. I only dropped eight points with, uh, with, um, Equifax only dropped eight points. So I actually went down to 627 from 635. So not that bad. But th but remember, this is just Vantage. I'm not sure what happened on my FICO yet. I haven't checked the FICO. Well, it hasn't updated yet for FICO. Um, my FICO 8, TransUnion, and Equifax. So I don't know what happened yet. I had to wait to see what the updates. But hopefully by then... I'll have this stuff removed. I don't have to worry about it. But again, this is the collection from um, Santander. And Santander been playing around. All right. I told you Santander is their, their trip. So let me go into what. Uh, so again, here it is. Here's my credit scores from last time with Vantage. Right. So that's that. I want to show you guys that here. TransUnion was 633. And Equifax was. 635 i went down eight points here and then gained a point i went down 21 points something like that whatever it was 20 21 points 
and I gained one point with that. So anyway, I'm gonna come out of this. So here it is, 628 with uh with Equifax and with TransUnion, I'm at 613. Again, I'm gonna get it back, and here's how. All right. I'm good. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you something right quick. Here is my credit report. I'm gonna show you what happened here. All right. First, I'm gonna go with Equifax. So I'm gonna show you all the diff all the inconsistencies in bogus information here with this NCB management services with Equifax. All right. Right here, the NCB management services. There's no account number number one. All right. There's no oh, no account number. So that right there is a violation because it's supposed to have an account number. How do I know it's my account? How do you know it? How do you know it's my account? There's no account number here. There's no account number. It just says account status collection reported balance twelve thousand four ninety eight. That's accurate. All right. Payment history. Okay. There's problems with the payment history. Okay. So here it is at individual account date open August twenty seventh, twenty twenty. Right. It's date open August twenty seventh. Date reported October 7, 2020. Right? Date of last payment, nothing but date first reported. Date first reported. October 1, 2020. Alone, right here, if it's date first reported, October 1, 2020, what's this? October 7, 2020? All right? That's not even the worst part about it. The worst part about it is right here. Date of first delinquency, April 1, 2019. All right. April 1, 2019. Date of first delinquency. So if that's the date of first delinquency, April 1, 2019, why would it first be reported October 1st, 2020? All right. Date of first delinquency, April 1, 2019. But you first reported October 1, 2020. That's 16 months. 16 months. Really? 16 months? You're going to wait 16 months to report a delinquency? Nah, don't sound right, pardon. Don't sound right. Okay. So not only do you have no account number. Then you telling me you waited 16 months, 16 months. <laughs> you telling me you waited 16 months to report delinquency. Nah, don't sound right. OK, now that's with Equifax. Now, here it is with TransUnion. TransUnion not really saying much. OK, TransUnion not really saying much. So it's just saying that uh, the uh, place for collection August 27th uh, the date of uh, the balance is 12498 it's in collection the original credit is Santander they're a debt buyer which I don't even know this loan this is not even a loan type debt buyer I don't even make any sense but we'll we'll get into that a little later once I once I know what's going on with that if I can dispute it being a debt buyer loan even though it's auto loan so I guess I could say that but debt buyer whatever and it's saying the account is open i guess i guess it's open i think it should be closed because the collection i believe collection account a collection account should be closed but that's another story by itself like i say once i look more into it i don't know a whole lot about debt i'm still learning but i'm learning the processes of getting things removed myself i'm learning about uh do it yourself credit repair or self credit repair i'm learning this stuff myself so it's not much here so i can just assume it's going to be debt buyer and uh open account but remember i can always compare this with this because it has to be accurate information so if equifax information is totally different from transunion information then i guess i can dispute that difference and say hey this these are inconsistencies these are inaccurate information both credit reports are supposed to Here's an account number. Why does TransUnion have an account number and TransUnion doesn't have an account number, right? Look at that, no account number. 
Equifax has no account number, but TransUnion have an account number, right? So I can dispute that, all right? Everything else is pretty much the same. Loan type is debt buyer with both. You know, uh, they both remarks say collection. This they place for a collection. The other ones say in collections. Uh, uh, whatever. I guess it's the same thing. I uh, say collection account or whatever it says. But open account, you know, let me see what it says over here. Open account, account status collection, you know, let me see. I'm freezing here. Okay, account status, because it's account type, account status collection. Um, Where's account type at? Account type other. See, this says account type other. See, account type other, account type open, loan type debt buyer. You know, you know, it's, it's just different. Account type open account. This say account type other you know so i don't know what's going on it's just different stuff so again i could dispute that i could dispute uh the fact that uh equifax doesn't have account number and transunion does so i can dispute those different things i can send them a copy of this and you know all that good stuff but equifax i can re i can dispute the inaccuracies with Equifax alone by itself. But when it comes to TransUnion, I will have to bring in the Equifax report of this and show them the inaccuracy within the credit report to get things removed from TransUnion, to get it removed from TransUnion, all right? So, now let's go into what I sent. Now, right after I learned of this account, I went ahead to the CFPB. We know about CFPB, all right? Because that's how I got Santander to respond in the first place with CFPB. So now I go here and I sent a letter to the CFPB. I already sent it. I sent it this day, the day I did this. I sent it and they gonna give uh, NC, NCB 15 days to respond. All right. So I already sent the letter. I'm just waiting to get back hear back from CFPB he listed the response and what also what I'm doing is while they're contacting CFPB I'm sending letters to the credit bureau so I'm sending letters to the credit reporting agencies and that's what you see right here my letters here from TransUnion and Equifax I already got them pretty much ready to go I have to do some things with TransUnion because it can't be exactly the same as Equifax as you already saw the differences in the credit report so but I'm going to go into this letter here. I'm going to actually read this letter to you because I'm actually proud of this letter. All right. This is this NCB Management Services CFPB complaint I sent out on the 14th of October. Once I learned of Santander, um, well, NCB placing this on my credit reports of TransUnion and Equifax. Okay. So this how the report. This how the complaint goes. This all starts out with Santander Consumer USA and their class action settlement for predatory lending with multiple states earlier this year, 2020. Within the settlement, it states that Santander agreed to relieve loans and help repair the credit of individuals affected by their predatory lending practices. This was for auto loans placed between January 2010 through December 2019. On August 31, 2020, the debt was sold to NCB Management Services. In any normal situation, this wouldn't be a problem. But because the terms of the predatory lending settlement, this debt should have never been sold or transferred to any collection agency or debt buyer. This is in direct violation of the terms of the settlement, which is to help repair the credit of individuals affected by their predatory lending practices. Now, I contacted NCB Management Services by mail to dispute the collection and included a copy of the CFPB complaint against Santander, as well as a copy of the multi-state class action settlement against Santander and explained why they should cease all collection efforts and delete my file because this collection violates the terms of the settlement. The letter was mailed September 18, 2020. I also spoke with someone from NCB Management Services over the phone a few days after the letter was mailed and informed them of the letter as well. 
Centenner themselves also instructed NCB Management Services to cease all collection efforts after they received my complaint from CFPB. I received a notification on October 10, 2020, that NCB Management Services has reported a collection of 12498 to the credit agencies. Now, for me to dispute this collection and Santander instructed them to cease all collection efforts and activities, then to still within a couple of weeks report this account to the credit agencies is a total violation of everything I mentioned in this complaint. To ignore my dispute and Santander's request is outright wrong. Not to mention, this account should have never been sold to NCB Management Services in the first place. Here's the resolution. The only fair resolution is that this collection from NCB Management Services be deleted from my credit profile with all credit reported agencies and bureaus. I also demand that any and all collection efforts cease and that this account not be sold or transferred to any other collection agencies or debt buyers. Thank you in advance in resolving this issue within a timely manner. So that's the letter, but that's the complaint I sent to uh, CFPB of NCB Management Services, okay? Now, I'm gonna go directly with Trans uh, Equifax, okay? Because Equifax is the one I'm concerned about mostly, all right? Okay, we're gonna go with just Equifax here. All right, so here it is. I just received an alert that this collection from NCB Management Services Inc. has been added to my file. I have not had any dealings with this company nor any affiliates of this company. I could be mistaken, but to ensure that this collection is accurate, I would like to see the original binding contract with my handwritten signature. The signature cannot be electronic as I would have to physically sign as it appears to be for an auto loan. It would have to be hand signed by me. If any such document is not available, then this item must be deleted immediately. Furthermore, anything other than a copy of the original signed contract would be insufficient. A copy of a bill with my name is not considered evidence that I owe this debt. If such a bill is in NCB Management Services' possession, that is a direct violation of the multi-state predatory lending class action settlement, which is also documented with the CFPB. Therefore, this item must be deleted immediately. Lastly, this account doesn't have an account number associated with it. It also states that the first delinquency was 4-1-2019, but first reported delinquent 16 months later, 10-1-2020. These are direct violations of the FCRA for fair and accurate information reporting. This account cannot be deemed accurate with a missing account number alone. And how was the account late in April 2019 but not reported until October 2020? This information is grossly inaccurate and contains missing information and must be deleted immediately. All right. So then I went into this service that said not available with the account, blah, blah, blah. Okay. If this request is not met in a timely matter, NCB Management Services Inc. must be deleted from my file. Okay. Now that's what Equifax. This is the exact same thing I got with TransUnion, so I'm not going to go into TransUnion, but this is the exact same formation, but I'm going to have to uh, change some things around because remember, TransUnion credit report is different from Equifax, so I will have to you know, do some things, you know, send a copy of Equifax with you know, TransUnion and things like that, so I'm going to have to doctor this up, but again that's how, it, that's what I have right now, so you see when you're, doing, when you're doing these credit repairs, when you're doing the credit repair, you're going to have little hiccups. Again, you they have seven years, all right? I just had the repossession last year. So um, I'm going to have this thing happen, you know? Again, it might even pop up again once I get it removed because, yeah, they may cease and desist. And I want them to do that. And I'm saying that they can't sell the information to nowhere else, all right? But you see, they don't listen. All right, that's just that's just a given. They they don't listen. So whether it go whether it gets sold to anyone else or not, that's just what it is. All right. So again, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I sent the letters to CFPB as you see. Uh, I'm gonna uh, send the letters out to the credit bureaus eventually. I'm gonna get that done, and I'm gonna get to take care of. Again, I gotta get Santander off as well, but I'll deal with that. 
once I deal with things one at a time. Remember, I still got to get the first premiere charge off. Well, it's not really a charge off. It's the settlement. I still got to get this first premiere settlement off because all those things showing up as negative on my credit reports, even though my credit score is going up, that steps was still showing as negative because it's within two years. All right. So yes, it's everything is great now. You know, as far as me paying everything on time, I've been paying great for the last eight months, eight to nine months now on time. Everything has been at four or five percent. I've been well under 10 percent, but I have to get these negative things off. You know, the things like the uh, settlement from first for me, I got to get that off the repossession from Santander, even though it's not even showing a balance, even though it is showing a balance on Experian. So that's I can dispute that as well, because now it's inaccuracies. All right. And Santander is inaccurate through all three credit reports, but I just got to, you know. So I'll, I'll get it off. And now I have this collection. The collection to be the easiest. I'm going to tackle that first. I'm going to I'm going to tackle the Santander. Then I'm at the Santander when the first premiere. I'm going to tackle those kind of at the same time, right? But again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe to It's Oasis. Like, share this video. Hope this video helps you. And again, you know, check out the links in the description. You know, uh some value from valuable information in there and hey i'll see you in the next video let's get this money